Anyways, I always make up words. I don't think. Because <laughs> when you said community. You know, when I, when I hear, you see my YouTube with the subtitles, I'm like, oh, this doesn't mean anything. Even YouTube is like, what does that mean? <laughs> Is your crypto working for you? It can be with yield farming. But what are the risks? Hacking, volatility, poor smart contracts, scams. Even if you overcome the risks, there are still limitations. Do you have a million dollars to invest? Yield farming is a very complex, time-consuming, and expensive process. Can you imagine that not only you need to possess advanced skills to mitigate your risk and check smart contracts, but also you need to quit your job? In order to get the highest return, you need to manage thousands of platforms and check protocols around the clock. Well, not anymore. We are proud to announce the SwissBorg Smart Yield account. It's now possible for anyone to earn yield on most of your cryptos, such as USDC, Bitcoin, Ether, BNB, and only starting with 10 euros, the tap of your finger. So how does it work? It's simple. On a daily basis, Oracle scans and monitors all the different investment opportunities and delivers for you the best investment returns. So how is that more secure? Not only do we assess the best risk reward ratio, but also your assets are protected by our MPC technology and our safety net program. And how it does deliver return? Well, because our system is scanning the market every single day, you get the optimal return on that day. How do you get started? It's easy in three different steps. The first one, you deposit. The second one, you start the yield program. And the third one, you start relaxing, enjoying your passive income. So guys, you know what to do. Subscribe to the Smart Yields, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. Dear crypto community blockchain buddies across the globe, welcome back to Kryptonites, the no BS blockchain channel built with the community and for the community. And the Blockchain hey, brothers, brothers are back! <laughs> awesome to have you, brother. <laughs> yeah, awesome to have you as well. So what is better than being able to combine work and family and love? We're so glad to have you back on the show, Sai. And Swissborg has come a long way <laughs> since the last interview. <laughs> amazing stuff, amazing stuff, Sai. And really, I'm, I'm very proud of what you've achieved as a CEO and co-founder of Swissborg. We achieved, yes. And before success always comes failure. Right. There's a really cool quote in Japan, actually, that I learned when I was in Tokyo. It says, Nana korobi yaoki, which means fall seven times, get up eight. Nice. So the eighth time is the time of the success. Time. Exactly. <laughs> so if you don't mind me asking you, Sai, like, um, what are to you like some of the biggest challenges you've had up to now? And yeah, I would love to hear that. Well, I think it comes from our DNA, Alex. We came from a losing family, right? I think so from the essence from where born, being, you know, essentially born from parents that had to flew out of Iran and rebuild their life in the U.S. and lose their identity, their wealth, everything, uh, to going to a family of four, to a family of three, uh, moving out from the States to France and, you know, trying to reschedule and to refocus and relearn a new language and really able to, you know, essentially get used to losing a lot of shit and a lot of things that are very important for life. And um, I think so long time since I'm age of, yeah, since I'm born to today, I, lost, I, I learned about a lot about losing. And I think so those are the best experience usually is how to learn how to lose and, you know, just come back stronger. And, and that's exactly what I've applied, right? Right. I started the first job in wealth management and private banking, you know, a few years later, I got kicked out of it because it was not my thing or for whatever reason. And literally my first job at Burger King, if you remember with you, right? <laughs> of course. Right? In the of States course. where we went to like in summertime for France, we go to the States to actually work at Burger King to make some money buy some clothes and then sell it back in France much more expensive, right? We started our international <laughs> trade business at a very young age and working six hours, six dollars per hour at Burger King, flipping burgers, essentially. 
We sold stickers as well. Do you remember we used to buy like wholesale stickers? Oh yeah, and that was door even to door. Before, yeah, we, that, that was even before. For, yeah, that, that was, was our first work. business. But that was it? not a losing business. That was a great business. That was a great actually. <laughs> we were doing great back then. Flipping the burgers in summer didn't really make so much sense when I was That's only true. 17. That's true. And then, you know, graduated, got these different jobs. First job was in private banking. Didn't really like what I was doing that much because I was not connected to the people. I was really servicing the wealthy people wealthier. So I was losing as well. I was learning, obviously, and but I didn't match my purpose in life. And I think so the next jobs that were great and different hedge funds. But again, I was, it was a bit of failure about, about what I was doing because I was not really connected. And I think so even at the first you know, way of Swissborg, which was the robo advisor B2B. That again was another failure. Couldn't raise money. I really went door to door, every VCs, every investor, everyone thought it was a cool idea, but it was not gonna happen. And the day I discovered blockchain and the fact Anthony was coming as well, I, I saw there was really light at the end of that tunnel. And I and what made me lose so much made me just so much stronger. And that resilience, that dedication that obstination makes you being king of the world even if you have maybe $10 on your bank account. That, that, that wisdom with that same time, that confidence really helps you to navigate through all the problems. And that's what's all the fun about life. It's not about you know how much wealth you have on your portfolio, it's how much wealth you have in your heart and your brain and how is your network helping to get a better Cyrus, to get a better Alex, to get a better Fazel family, to get a better Swissborg family? And I think so, those are being the lessons. And everyone's gonna say, yeah, ICOs are easy. You know, it was an easy thing to do. No, it was not. Shut up, you didn't do an ICO. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, people are gonna say as well, yeah, Mark Zuckerberg, what did he do by the end? He just did like, like he copy paste what was done on Friendster. And no, Friendster died. Facebook created the biggest social network of all time. If it's good or not, I don't know, but the ideas behind it, he created the most ingenious, scalable product of essentially a social network. And what goes same to the ICO craze is that, yeah, was it easier to do an ICO in 2016, 17, 18? Yeah, it was. But was it easy to be successful? No. We saw that out of 10,000 ICOs, there's only you know a very small portion that raised over hundred thousand dollars, right? And out of the ICOs today, I mean, how many are actually what's the survival rate? One, two percent rate? And you know, not only we're here, but we're rocking it. And that comes from, I think, so the thirty-five first years of hard work, dedication, and finding your passion, finding your vision, and enjoying the hard battles. Even when you get knocked out, you're on the floor, it's okay, there's a next round, then you'll get up, there's a next fight, and you just learn and, and fight through it. That makes so much sense. There's so many quotes in what you just said, you know, like, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, so losing was a, a chance to uh, learn a life lesson and, and restart again. And I still recall you, Sai, like, calling me over the phone when you're working for hedge funds, when you're working for different financial companies, and you were so frustrated, you were so angry, right. so rebellious, you're like, I hate this, I hate this, and it was, a, it was amazing that you managed to create Susporg, which is very different from, like you said, servicing just the high net worth right. individuals. Is that the ultimate purpose uh, for you at this point? Or what is your ultimate drive now? Because, you know, Swissborg, not only, as you said, is one of the successful ICOs, but is one of the very few that is still in the top 70, top 60 by market cap. Probably the only one from the 2017, 2018 generation. So, I mean, there's you've proven a lot, but... How do you refocus on your purpose and vision? Like, what are you really trying to achieve now? I think so. It's really thanks to the Swissborg community and, and the Swissborg, yeah. uh, you know, employees. Mm -hmm. I think so. We're really all a strong bond and family. Uh, you know, people coming from out of Switzerland, like the Merton crew, all these lovers that we have uh, coming out of France, coming out of the UK, coming out of Italy, all these different countries. There's people fueling us on a daily basis not just using our app, but literally having that spiritual connection of realizing a dream for the greater good of the planet or for their family and really trying to change finance. Finance could be fun. Finance could be fair. 
finance can be community centric and we're proving it on a daily basis. And this is really what drives me every day to say, okay, I'm tired. I need a rest. No, I don't. You know, I just get one message, you know, a good message or bad messages. You know, a lot of people always have that love good thing, positive. I love haters. I love, I've been building all of my dreams thanks to haters from bosses that were lousy, from bosses that are really good and told me that you're never going to make it. From teachers back when I was a kid, say, Cyrus, you're never going to study. You're not going to do this. You're not going to do that. Those people on a daily basis, rather they love me or hate me, always been a great way to drive yourself to accomplish better. And so when you want to do that swim and just go for 1K, and when you start at a 1K, you stop at 1K, like, no, let's push another K. And you just go a further a mile and that really creates happiness towards me is pushing yourself to always to the next level and doing that with a loved community or just people that hate you and say, yeah, but Cyrus, anyways, you got Swiss Borg, you know, you're a scam. I mean, all the guys who told us that, you know, now it's impossible to agree on that fact. But back in 2018, when people were saying yeah, that, yeah. it always gave us that drive with Anthony, like, oh, we're a scam. Oh, you're going to check out. We are ethical. We have immensely great values. We are transparent and we have hard work and dedication and that heart and that brain is going to be working on a daily basis until we won't stop until we reach that top. <laughs> very well said, very well said. And you know, it reminds me a lot of, you know, pushing yourself such as, you know, just a few weeks ago, you were in Switzerland in a lake that was four degrees, right? And you're just pushing yourself no matter what not to burn out and and by the way to not really burn out i agree with you 100 percent. the community is really that is the fuel in the fire that drives me every day right even when i feel extremely tired and i don't look necessarily good either which by the way during the ico i saw you age oh quite yeah fast. for sure even now it was an easy task so for those who think Lost it was 10 that kilos easy, by the way 70 to 60. I never saw you age that fast, but now you look better though, by the way, yeah. it's good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're right, the community fueled everything. Uh, I would love to ask you, like in terms of the, the Swiss Borg success, like what made Swiss Borg become successful? Like, was there a specific recipe? Was it the corporate culture? Uh, on top of the perseverance, the persistence, and you always trying to push yourself and be driven, were there any other recipes in this amazing mix that really made Swiss Borg successful? The obstination, I know is always a fact, but why I'm wearing today this hat, why I'm, I'm having, you know, the, this beautiful necklace and, you know, obviously we have the same one. Uh, why I have this beautiful, uh, you know, Swiss Borg token here, I have it on my watch. It takes the obstination and of trying to always get something better and making sure that Swiss Borg token is the heart of ecosystem. I don't see any other token, to be honest, uh, that has so much utility today. We have staking mechanism, we have governance play, and we were actually really using it on different ways. This new sustainable yield farming, I, I mean, it's really something different. Uh, SB Nation coming out very soon. There's so much greatest things to do with Swiss Borg tokens. And again, it's only the early beginning. It's only the early beginning. I think so that has been one of the great things. This is alignment of our mission, which is concentrated on the success of one token. And the more the token is being used, the more the token is being staked, the more the token is being loved, obviously helps all of us within the ecosystem to share great time with us. And I think so that is really one of the things. Then I'll say the second is that at Swissboard today, we're roughly, you know, 85 people that are coming around the world with different backgrounds from top PhD to super smart engineers, to people that are more into the arts, the people in the science, we all have that combination and we're looking at what other people are doing in the DeFi world and the on-chain world, the off-chain world, trying to you know, really find that balance and how we can play it smartly, regulatory, technically, and create, more importantly, the best investment experience. And it's all about that life. It's about finding your purpose, going through your venture and enjoying the experience. And that's what we want to do. Why can you enjoy a hotel or a very nice setting here, but have to have a weird time with, you know, a private bank or a shitty FinTech app? 
why not have a great one, right? Why you have to have, you know, why does Spotify was so genius about their platform? They just create a great ex user experience. iTunes were there 20 years before, right? It's just that they came out with a cooler way where you can create your profile and then, you know, AI feeds your music and you're discovering new music all the time. Well, that's exactly what we're doing at Swissboard, is how we could create you a digital ID and then bring you into an investment experience that it's amazing from onboarding to creating your portfolio to yielding, getting the best opportunities for investing in crypto, getting off in fiat, and all doing that with, again, a great purpose. And I think so that, that's what drives us and makes us very different from everyone uh, within the industry. Beautifully put, Sai. I love how you're so community obsessed and community obs obsession is one of the main principles at Swissport, right? right? Whenever I see community obsession. Love you guys, by the way. We love you to death from the moon and back. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, community obsession is definitely what drives me as well, like we were talking about earlier. And, and that's what allows me to push myself 200% every single day. But I'd love to ask you a question, you know, like, you keep on hammering the word wealth, right. not investment, not trading. Right. And you always tell me like the ultimate dream is to become the default option, the default crypto wealth manager right. in the EU and right. the countries, slightly the neighboring countries. What, what is the difference side between trading, investing and wealth management? I'd love to really understand that right. from you. I mean, trading is a great thing for people that have the stomach for it, the brain for it, and more the time for it. It's really something that it's not like a part-time job. It's something that guys have to wake up, look at news all the time, have to look at his charts, look at fundamentals, and make sure that he's going in and out at right timing, right? And it's something that is very hard, and some people are very good, but being consistent trader, there's like less than, you know, 5% of all the traders. And most time people eventually blow up, right? From yeah. stress or from their leverage portfolios or just their strategy doesn't work out. And investors is people like have more like fundamental basis that are lower long term and like have that risk profile that could, you know, that could maybe change. Uh, wealth management is really what we're building. And, and I think so the third category is what everyone should be interested in. Wealth is about how you could create a digital financial ID, like a risk profile, build a portfolio that matches your convictions of how, to, how much risk you want to take, how much profit you want to make, how much products you want to use as well, what is the purpose of your, your philosophy of investments. And I think so this is exactly what you know, we, we, everyone wants is at the end, is, is to create wealth. And, and it's not only monetary gain, it's really building something that's right for you. And everyone should always really think about, first, what is your risk profile? Is it conservative, is balanced, is growth, is it high growth? And based on that, you could know like, how much are you able to take in the bad times? Not in the good times, because everyone's gonna say, I wanna make 500% per day, right? It's just, but are you able to lose 85% or 15%? And that's the first thing that everyone should start, you know, re you know, realizing. And then it's uh, it's more about diversifying your portfolio and trying to add different investment assets that could manage to get to that. And as well, what's your purpose investment? I always say, right? And if you want to go into DeFi because DeFi is a great way to decentralize finance, or if you want to go into Bitcoin because you really believe that Bitcoin is one of the saver that helped decentralization. If you want to go into Ether because it's the first one that brought in smart contracts, if you want to go into Swissboard token, this is the first one doing crypto wealth management. There, there's that to, to add. And uh, what I love with Swissboard right today is that we're bringing more and more wealth management products, right? You could buy into like Bitcoin, Ether, which are quite correlated in the downturn, less correlated all the time because they're different uh, cycles. But then there's gold, Paxos Gold, that's completely lowly correlated to most digital assets. You have the smart yield that is uncorrelated, that could really help people that have a more conservative approach to get a very good yield uh, at the same time. And, and then I, reinvest in Bitcoin. With and that reinvest interest, as yeah. well if you go in and out. But even just if you're conservative, 
you should put at least 50 percent of the smart yield and then you know buy some other cryptos whatever it is but at least have a big portion of your assets into these a uh, low risk type of, of, of investment products that we have in the crypto industry and I, I think so that's really the game is how to big wealth based on your investment profile based on your risk and then essentially start to compound on a, on a yearly basis and make sure that you are always going along right and the same thing for music right if you like classical music just build a playlist with classical music don't start putting hardcore music or techno <laughs> or go wow whatsoever yeah it's the same thing and when you're in your spotify it's very easy to put your your profile well we have to have the same thing when it goes to wealth is how to build wealth based on your own profile and i think so that's that's the number one key that makes a lot of sense so would you say that trading is more of diy related right. activities while wealth management is just purely automated to right. help you make wealth without with a minimum of effort is that if i if i could summarize all the details that you gave is is that what you're what what we could say to yeah for sure there? i mean yeah exactly that that's exactly the perfect diy is is great for traders and um, i'm sure there's a lot of people listening go for it enjoy it i'm sure you're great at it uh no doubt but I think so a lot of people, you know, don't want to create their own playlists, don't want to start being DJing and, and build their, their own, produce their own music. They would just want to listen to a set uh, and just passive. enjoy it and passive and, and enjoy it. And that's what Swissborg is all about, is be as much as active into this, into the community, but less active into your portfolio if you don't want to. And if you're very active in your portfolio, good for it as well. But be active with the community and, and share your knowledge and, and share your love with all the Swiss burgers that we are uh, around the world. Yeah. Amazing. There are three words that you always use, Sai. Fun, fair, community-centric. Community -centric. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what is the fun part? Why, why does it have to be fun? Tell us a little bit about that vision. I know you like to gamify things. Is it because in the past, you know, investment has always been really daunting, doing lots of research, documentation, boring? Yeah. Is that, is that why you want to add this fun element? Is Anything that, could be fun. You know, you could go to a hospital and you go like it is hospital for kids. They make it very well, especially with cancerology, these different hospitals. There's a lot of great things for kids, for them, for learning and, you know, being in the state, which is traumatizing. But they have great things to enjoy for kids, right? Arcades, different fun games, clowns coming in and all that. So you could do the same to any industry. It does Finance doesn't need to be boring. Our community app is a cool game where you learn and you earn. It's a great thing. The Wealth app has a lot of great videos. Right now what we're doing is a lot of fun and it's, lot, it's educated at the same time. And, and I think so that's, that's the very important part. The fairness is that it's all about ethics and that goes with wealth. Is how do you want to contribute to the greater good? How do you want to be transparent? How do you want to make sure that you're rewarding the right people by being meritocratic? And and that is how you get valued, how you be remembered at the end of your life and your families going forward. A Swiss board being part, the pioneers, you guys being part of this fairness in this world, which is very important. And last, the community centric. I think so. You know, the vision at Swiss board is to decentralize nations. I today feel a bit French, feel a bit Iranian. Overall, I feel more Swiss, but I feel even more Swiss board. And I think so. This is about what we're getting here is that those nations now that we're all working remote, we're all into that same planet Earth where mothers, when she sneezes in China, you catch cold now in, 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 in Europe and everyone is now connected. Maybe thanks to blockchain technology, thanks to this new governance, we could be starting to create ecosystems that have different values and different notion of digital citizens. And that's why I believe that community centric is the greatest thing, is the greatest power, because thanks to you guys, your wisdom, everything is changing on a daily basis. Thanks to you guys, we voted for the mobile app. Where I wanted the desktop app for the referendum. And I, now I realize it was the best, best thing to do was this referendum. And, uh, and that's what I love. That's, that's, why we, that's why our mission is those three uh, that we think about all the time. And, that obsession helps us to become uh, better citizens of Swissborg Nation. And I couldn't explain it better than that. It was just absolute pinpoint perfect. Um, and I love the facts. One more thing I want to add to the fair part, which which I think you didn't mention, which I think 
in terms of ethics is something that I'm so proud of you and, and what we've done at Swiss Borg is the fact that the tokens from the ICO were locked for such a long time, still locked as of today. Right. Uh, and, and the reason why I find that so ethical is so many companies out there when they do an ICO, within three to six months, they unlock their tokens. Right. They sell their tokens, they make money, they think about money more than the community. And, uh, and that's something that I really respect about you, Cyrus, is that you're super modest. We still haven't received the tokens. We still have to deliver in order to receive those tokens, which pushes us every single day. And on top of that, your modest life of going to work with a bicycle, not having a crazy car and all that stuff is really, really inspiring. Well, you know, Cyrus the Great, one of the biggest emperor of all time, was able to enrich everyone within his kingdom and he was the less fortunate, but was at the end the happiest because he built a great community. I have no comparison to do, obviously I'm only Cyrus the Good, uh, but I think so, you really want to always reward the most people that contribute within a network and you really want to make sure that uh, they're extremely happy, they're living a great experience and if you're a token holder or if you're an employee, for me, it's the same thing. We're all token holders. And if, if my situation would have grown and, and make me richer with in, not empowering the community, well, I lost everything. And that's the whole, the whole thing about Swissborg is how we, I and how we could leverage all us together and create something much better and much bigger than ourselves and our egos. That makes so, so much sense. It, one more thing I would love to ask you is in terms of wealth management tips specifically. So you worked in finance, you've been, tr you've been trading, investing, doing wealth management, doing lots of things in finance. And obviously, so this whole like series in Dubai is combining, you know, failure, success, but also crypto geeking off. Right. Um, what are some of the best lessons you've learned in the crypto space? And what are things that you're doing to grow your wealth and increase or preserve your wealth? Uh, some of the tips that you don't mind sharing with the community, that would be absolutely Smart amazing. yield, smart yield, Swiss board <laughs> token, Bitcoin, Ether, and whatever you like as well. That That is for me the big thing is how you could again create a portfolio that matches your risk profile and make sure that you have that, you know, recurrence uh, passive income uh, where you don't have a very high risk. Uh, that's what I think. Obviously, Bitcoin could go to 500,000, but it could go as well to 5,000 again. and and, and that is something to take in consideration is that uh, sometimes it's good to lock profits, to have a big portion of cash like that. You could buy the dip. That's always very important. And you need to diversify your book, especially with uh, these different tokens that have cycles, right? There's a DeFi altcoin season right now that's going very well, but that could change as well going forward. So you have to have your eyes on the ball all the time. I think so in crypto uh, and going forward, we're going to be bringing so many cool different products that Eventually, you just need to press play, enjoy the playlists, and chill, and hopefully smoke some shisha if you feel like. <laughs> Apple Mint is really nice, by the way. It's really, really nice. And yeah, that, that really sums it up perfectly. I think if I can understand through your messaging, self-discovery and understanding ourselves before actually investing and really, you know, you really believe in discovering ourselves, understanding ourselves before actually investing and that will create a better investment experience overall. Is that correct? Exactly. In life, it's all about understanding who you are, what do you want to achieve, what's your limits and test them all the time and make sure that when you fall down on your knees and that happens in training, that happens in love, that happens at work, well, you learn from it and you, you don't want to play your ego in it. You don't want to make too emotional about it. You just want to really have a macro perspective of what you're doing, refocus on what you are and who you are and where you want to go, and then make sure that you, you manage to get your targets in the best way possible. And, uh, and for that, I think so Swissborg is definitely one of the great ecosystem where anyone could really manage to to believe in and what we're doing and and build it with us. Nana Korobi Yaoki, fall seven times, get up eight. Thank exactly. you so much, brother. Thank you. Blockchain brothers. Woo! All right, let's All go. Right. <laughs> All right. All right.